We want to welcome you again today to the service for the House of Prayer Worship Center in Bristol, Tennessee. Uh, Brother Jimmy normally brings the services to you, but he was a little busy today helping with the meals on wheels, so I'll be bringing the message to you a little bit. So if y'all would pray for us, we appreciate that. I ask of you to pray for the sick and the shut-in today, the many with the virus that's going around and need the prayers of the people of God. But if you are with us tuning in today, we'd like for you, if you would, if you have your Bibles, turn with us to the Psalms chapter 24. We're going to be reading just a little bit from there today that as we talk to God and feel like this is where that he had led us to to bring the word of God to you today. And in Psalms chapter 24, and the first verse, it says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. So today we know that with the earth being the Lord's, that God is in control of everything. The, many people are blaming the sickness on this and, and on that. They're blaming it on one country or another country. But, you know, I don't know how you feel about it today, but I think maybe that not just the United States, but the whole world today is under the chastisement of God. I'm not saying God sent this sickness, but God could be very well using this sickness to get the attention of the people of God. He said the earth is the world, so it doesn't matter, you know, whether we are here in the United States, if it's over in China, you know, if it's in Italy, wherever it is. The whole earth belongs to God, and, you know, he can remove this sickness at any time he wants to remove it. Uh, we've heard so many people and preachers, you know, to hear lately, preaching over in Second Chronicles, the 7th chapter, and the 14th verse where it said, You know, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, he said, Then will I heal their lands. But it's going to take the people coming back to God. And that's what we want to talk about just for a few minutes here today uh, in this 24th chapter of the book of Psalms. And we want to look down to the verse 6 and to actually read from there that it says, This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, them that seek thy face. And I believe we're the generation that's going to have to seek God to get his grace back on the people. Amen. Amen. The, the grace of God, you know, it, it's forever, I believe, while we're here on this earth. But to have his grace really abiding upon us, the people of God, we're going to have to come back to God. It, it said, it's the generation of them that seek thy face and you know, I was thinking as I was reading this and just a while ago when I was talking to, to the good Lord and I remember growing up, we used to, a lot of times, would play hide and seek. And, you know, we would go out and we would hide and Sister Vanessa, you know, the, somebody would come looking for us. Well, you know, we are people that have hid from God. Amen. We I believe are people that is turning their back on God. Amen. It seems like every time there's a tragedy, you know, the people always come back to looking for God. As soon as the tragedy is over, they turn away from God Amen. again. They go and they hide again. Amen. But, you know, even whenever we're hiding out there, God is always out there seeking for us. The Bible tells us Jesus Christ came to this earth for, for a main purpose, to seek and to save that which is lost. Amen. We are his people. The Bible said we're the sheep of his pastor. But I believe as his people, there's many that have gone and hid on God. Amen. I believe they've turned back out to a lot of the meek and beggarly things of the world that the Bible tells us to and that, that they're doing. You know, and the thing is, the Bible teaches us that once we give our life to God, we're not supposed to turn back amen, to the things of the amen. world anymore. Amen. It, but it's sort of like the Bible tells us in the book of St. John, the 6th chapter and 66th verse, talking about many of the disciples that were with Christ. And it said, they turned and they walked with him no more. 
But if we are the people of God, we need to quit hiding on God. We need, we need to quit going out, amen, and hiding in the things of the world. And we need to come back and we need to seek the face of God. Amen. To seek the face of God, you know, uh, to seek means to attempt to find. If you look up the definition of it, attempt to find. Um, we truly, we need to attempt today to find God. Amen. I believe if we are the children of God, the Bible tells us that His ear is open to our cry. Amen. That in the time of trouble, you know, David always called upon the Lord. You read throughout the, the scripture, the people of God, when, when they had a problem, when they had a trouble, they, they went and they, they found God. They, they talked to God. And you know, today I believe that's going to be the answer to all of our problems Amen. is for us to seek God and to call on Him. Our sins most of all. And the Bible tells us, be you sure, your sins will find you out. Amen. I believe America as a nation overall, we're just about to appoint our sins are about to find us out. Amen. But if we will do like, again, the, the book of Chronicles said there, you know, if we will seek God and we'll come back to him, amen, and call upon him, he made us a promise there once again that if we call on him, he will heal our lands. Amen. amen. Do I fear the... The virus going around? No. Do I believe it's real? Yes. Do I believe it's serious? Yes. But you know, I'm putting my trust more in God that He will deliver us from all these things. <laughs> I mean, it, it's caused a problem in the church world today. Churches are having to close down. They're not being able to assemble together, having the services. And the people of God, I believe, are missing the services of God. I believe they're missing being able to assemble into the house of God. I know I do. Amen. I, Sunday morning, I missed being in the house of God here. You know, but I, I checked in the neighborhood where I live. Churches were closed down. You, you look around Bristol and there's signs on the church doors, you know, closed. And, you know, and I know the pastors hate that. I'm sure here at the church, Brother Jimmy has hated having to close down the church. But I'd be... Thankful to God whenever we're able to join back together once again, coming in, worshiping one with another. But until then, we would ask of you today, pray for your fellow Christians. Pray for your churches. You know, you may not attend the house of prayer and you might be listening to this service today. Pray for your pastor. Your pastor needs your prayer today. This is a heavy burden on his shoulder today as to whether to have services or not. So we do ask of you today, once again, just pray for your church, pray for your pastor, pray for your fellow Christians, pray for our president of the United States. Amen. He's got a burden on him today that most people don't realize what it is. He's got a great responsibility. He needs the prayers of the people Amen. of God today. Not just him, but all those that are in authority running this country. They need prayers today, especially if they're lost and in sin. They need prayer that God would deal with their heart. Amen. Amen. That he would draw them to come to be saved. Let us have prayer today, if you would, as we close. Father, we thank you today again for this an opportunity. We have, God, to share your word. We thank you, Lord, for those that's listening today. And, Father, we pray for your blessings upon them. We ask you to meet their every need. We pray today, God, for the leaders of our country. I pray for our president of the United States. Give them the wisdom they need, God. And we pray, Lord, that they would learn not to lean to their own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all their ways, God, in everything that they do. We ask you now for guidance. Bless each church again that's shut down, that they might soon be assembled back together, coming in to worship you. God, we give you praise. We ask in Christ Jesus' name. Again, we would tell you today, if you're in need, there's anything House of Prayer can do to help you out, give us a call. We'll do what we can for you. Not promising we can do everything, but we'll do what we can. But until we can meet again, may God bless you. In Christ Jesus' name, amen.